Joseph responded with obedience. It's a powerful word, obedience. It kind of comes with kind of a stern feeling, kind of a black and white sense of saying yes to the Lord and no to other things. I never cease, though, to be blown away by Joseph and his character. His part in the story is very short. By page two of all of the Gospels, he's gone. Almost. He died early. He was much older than, than Mary. And by the time Jesus was seen in any capacity as an adult, Joseph's out of the picture. So his part in the story is short and brief, but the role that he played is huge. Taking on that role of accepting Mary, loving her, being the earthly daddy of the Son of God. Every Christmas, there's always a point when I ponder this conversation. And it blows me away, and it makes me just respect and appreciate Joseph more and more. When Mary came to him, came to him they're betrothed, and she says, Honey, I'm pregnant, but don't worry. It's God's child. <laughs> I know, it, it just... You can't help, but what do you do? You've got to laugh. I mean, what is, how do you respond to that? How do you really wrap around that? I mean, really, guys, put yourself in those shoes. Ladies, put yourselves in those shoes. How do you tell your fiancé that? How, how, do you, how do you respond to that? That is mind-blowing. And he had the option of stoning her. That was on the table. That, that could have happened. Or, or, or really just besmirching her, embarrassing her horribly. But the Bible says that Joseph was a kind man. And he loved Mary. And so he decided that he was just going to quietly divorce her. No doubt broken hearted. And move on with his life. But that evening the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. And the, and the angel said to Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Because what is conceived in her is indeed God's child. And he woke up after that dream and he said, yes, Lord. He pestewed, he believed. And he responded with obedience. He took steps. He said, yes, Lord, and he took Mary to be his wife. That was a bold step. I mean, you just got to understand the responsibility that, that Joseph took upon himself. Because we all know how the grapevine works and we all know how the gossip train works. And we all know that that would have got out. And Joseph just became a giant shield for Mary and for the family and said, I'll take it all on my shoulders. I'll take this family under my care and I'll protect them from all of that. I'll protect her from all of that shame and I will be her husband and I will see this thing through with character and nobility. That's powerful. The huge role. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 said, When Joseph awoke, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and he took Mary to be his wife. Go, Joseph. You know? That's awesome. And the question that comes to us from this part of the story is do we believe like Joseph believed? And does our belief manifest itself in our lives like it did in Joseph's life with obedience? Can our friends and our neighbors and our co-workers and our family members, can they see belief in us? Can they see obedience in our life? Do they see the character of Joseph and that kind of belief in our life? Do they see the kindness of Joseph in our life and our willingness to say, yes, whatever the ridicule is, I'll take it. Because I believe what the Lord has said. Jesus is God's son. Joseph responded to the message of Christmas with obedience and his example is an awesome example and challenge for all of us. 